Are you getting ready to take the Praxis General Science Exam 5436? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to the Praxis Test Prep Channel. I'm Tom, a certified teacher and a test prep expert with Study.com. We're thrilled to officially partner with ETS, the creators of the Praxis exams, to bring you the most accurate and up-to-date information straight from the source. If you're an aspiring general science teacher, this video will give you essential details, expert strategies, and the confidence you need to pass the exam. Let's get started. Starting with the basics, the Praxis General Science Exam is a computer-delivered test that assesses knowledge needed for secondary level science instruction. It covers four key areas, nature and impact of science and engineering, physical science, life science, and earth and space science. You'll encounter selected response questions that assess content knowledge, science and engineering practices, and classroom application. Throughout this video, we'll go over each of these sections in more detail and discuss the best strategies to help you prepare, giving you everything you need to succeed on test day. The Praxis General Science exam lasts 2 hours and 30 minutes, where you'll have 135 selected response questions to complete. Time management is crucial to ensure you complete every question within the allotted time. Follow a pacing strategy to maximize your score. Since you have 150 minutes to answer 135 questions, aim to spend about one minute per question. Not all questions are equally difficult, so move quickly through the easier ones to save time for the tougher ones. Another key strategy is to familiarize yourself with the difficult question types before test day. The exam consists entirely of selected response questions, including single answer, multiple choice, and multiple select items. Understanding these formats in advance will help you avoid confusion and answer efficiently. Let's move on to question types and scoring. The Praxis General Science exam is scored on a scale of 100 to 200, and a passing score is generally 150. However, every state has its own score requirements, so always check your state's guidelines on praxis.ets.org. I've linked to the specific page in the description. The ETS keeps their scoring logic confidential, even from us. However, a good rule of thumb is to take your state's passing score, subtract 100, and treat the resulting number as a percent. That means if your passing score requirement is 150, you can roughly assume that you need to get at least 50% of the questions correct to pass. Here's an important test taking tip. There is no penalty for guessing. That means you should always attempt to answer every question, even if you're unsure of the answer. Make an educated guess rather than leaving anything blank. Since each question contributes to your final score, maximizing the number of questions you complete can only help you. Now let's go over the question types you'll encounter. The Praxis 5436 exam consists entirely of selected response questions. Most of these will be single answer multiple choice questions where you'll choose one correct answer from four options. You'll come across multi-select questions that require you to select more than one correct response. These questions are usually marked with instructions like select all that apply, so be sure to read them carefully. The best way to improve your accuracy on the exam is to pay close attention to the wording of each question. Misreading a multi-select question or overlooking key details can lead to mistakes, even if you understand the content. Also, eliminate obviously incorrect choices first. This increases your chances of selecting the correct answer, and if you're stuck, look for context clues in the wording of the question or answer choices. Let's talk about some important test policies you need to know before test day. First, calculator use. You aren't allowed to bring your own calculator to the Praxis General Science Exam, and you wouldn't need one. If you're at testing center, you'll be provided with scratch paper by the proctor, but you must return it at the end of the exam. If you're taking the test at home, you must use a small dry erase board and marker and then erase all your notes in full view of the online proctor. If you don't follow these rules, you could be disqualified, so make sure to prepare accordingly. Lastly, you'll have a help screen available during the test, which will contain references like conversion tables, physical constants, and the periodic table of elements. Additional physical constants values will also be included in the question test so it's helpful to be familiar with how to use conversions and constants. All right, now let's dive a little deeper into the content you'll see on test day. Praxis 5436 exam is broken down into four major content categories as fundamental areas of science that are essential for teaching at the secondary level. Each section is designed to assess both your understanding of scientific principles and your ability to apply them in an educational setting. The first section, Nature and Impact of Science and Engineering, focuses on the foundations of scientific knowledge and the role of science and engineering in society. This includes understanding scientific inquiry, 
designing and analyzing investigations, and interpreting data. It also covers the connections between science, technology, and environmental issues such as pollution, climate change, and the use of natural resources. You'll need to demonstrate an understanding of scientific reasoning and how to apply the principles of scientific investigation to real-world problems. Next is the physical science section, which makes up the largest portion of the test. This section covers key concepts in chemistry and physics, including atomic structure, chemical reaction, forces in motion, energy, waves, and electricity. Expect to answer questions on the periodic table, properties of matter, conservation laws, and how different types of energies interact with the environment. Many of these questions will require you to analyze experimental data and apply physical science concepts to classroom scenarios. The life science section assesses your knowledge of biology, including cell structure and function, genetics, evolution, and ecology. You'll encounter questions about biological molecules, cellular respiration, heredity, natural selection, and ecosystems. This section also integrates key scientific practices, so be prepared to apply biological principles to instructional situations such as explaining genetic inheritance to students or analyzing food webs in an ecological system. Finally, the Earth and Space Science section covers topics related to geology, meteorology, astronomy, and oceanography. You'll need to understand Earth structure, plate tectonics, the water cycle, and atmospheric processes. This section also includes questions on the solar system, the life cycle of stars, and the origins of the universe. Many questions will require you to interpret scientific models, analyze climate data, or explain natural hazards like earthquakes and hurricanes. Since this test integrates science and engineering practices with teaching strategies, it is important to approach your preparation with both scientific understanding and instructional application in mind since task of teaching science applies to more than a quarter of the test questions. Okay, I know this is a lot, but stick with me just a little longer. Let's talk about how to prepare for the Practice 5436 exam. Success on this test isn't just about memorizing facts. It's about understanding core scientific concepts, applying them to real-world scenarios, and mastering the test format. It is essential to take a structured approach to your study plan, and I've got some great tips to help you do just that. I highly recommend taking a full-length practice test early in your preparation to give you a clear picture of your strength and highlight the areas where you need improvement. Think of it as your personalized study roadmap. Study.com's practice test and customized quizzes assesses your knowledge in different content areas while simulating the real test. Then it generates a personalized study plan based on your results. This helps greatly in focusing your time and energy on the topics that matter most. A huge part of your success relies on time management and building strategies. Simulate real test conditions by timing yourself and only using the resources allowed on test day. This helps build both stamina and confidence. Stay consistent, keep practicing, and remember that every bit of preparation brings you one step closer to passing the Praxis General Science exam. And that's it, your ultimate guide to conquering the Praxis General Science exam. If you find this video helpful, be sure to check out our other Praxis prep resources in this channel. And for even more support, head over to study.com. Our users boast a 92% pass rate with full-length practice tests, hundreds of exam-style questions, and comprehensive video lessons. You'll know exactly what to expect on test day and walk in with confidence. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more Praxis test tips, and let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if you're already on your way to passing the exam. We're here to support you every step of the way. You've got this.